Welcome back. So our character doesn't have any feet or hands or a head, but the rest of the body has been modeled. There's a lot of tweaking that needs to be done. Some of it needs to be done because I uh, screwed up my save once and I've forgotten to fix some of the stuff. For example, the entirety of the arm is too far forward, so let's just go ahead and grab it. Move it back. I can tell I've been recording for too long. The mouse is getting really slow here. And now we also have to bring in this side. This is too um, too wide, so just here, just bring it in. And this area here is a little bit too belly y so just bring it in. need to reduce the size of the hips again. Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Now the thing about this is that we don't actually need to have hands and feet to do any of the additional work we want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create placeholder hands and feet. Um, and I'm also going to move the whole mesh down some so that it's in the right spot. Like so. Now to create placeholders you just grab the verts on the front here. And you just extend them down into a foot-like shape without worrying too much about uh, exactly what it's like. Poof. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the hands here. If we can get it to be quiet outside for more than two seconds. There we go. Hands! Now obviously all of these placeholders are here just to allow us to do the animations that we want to do and we will be replacing them later on. I just don't want to spend two episodes on, well, two episodes on hands and then another two episodes on feet and then another 18 episodes on head. So we're just going to mock them up real quick. Let's give our head a little bit more breadth than that. Wow, mouse is really misbehaving. I think I have to probably reboot my machine or something after this episode. All right, so we've now got our shape. Our basic shape is done. Let's go ahead and put the smooth shading on just to see how it looks. Smooth shading on just to see how it looks. And uh, you can see that we've got a very undefined character, but the body is the right shape, and all of the lines that need to be there are there. Um, the only part that's a little bit weak is the lower part of the arm, underneath the arm. 
And that's kind of a shame. I never really figured out a very good way to do that. I'll have to look into it later, I think. And the back looks okay, um, but the divot isn't quite deep enough, so let's just go ahead and bring that in so that we can get a good divot. Uh, that's one of the secrets of having a good looking model uh, is to have the proper divot, but that one divot there shouldn't be there um, or something similar to it, however you want to however you want to do it exactly. Um, there is a there. All right, so that's wow, that was weird. It just kind of hopped. So let's go ahead and bring these shapes into their proper um, something like that, and then underneath the shoulder, something like this. There we go. There. So now we've got the same basic shape, and it's more or less right, and we can work with that. And so in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and rig it all up, and I'll see you there.